Hi guys, good morning. I have a different somewhat setup. I'm actually like sitting at my table getting some natural light in through the window. So I'm hoping that this kind of helps a little bit. And if I'm not really feeling it, I'll probably change it back tomorrow. But we'll see. I just wanted you guys to be able to like see the makeup a lot better, like in more close up. So that's the only reason why I switched it. So if you guys prefer it like this I would love it if you told me that way that I know if you guys like like it better close up if it didn't really matter whether I was sitting on the floor or not I love sitting on the floor personally so I'm kind of biased but either way let me go ahead and send these invites out and then I will get started this week has flown by I'm so excited because <laughs> Uh, Chance and I had started like the healthy eating thing on Sunday. No, it was Monday. Sunday like was our like last hurrah when it came to like naughty food. So this whole week has definitely been like a week of like healthy eating and I'm going through like bad food withdrawals. So, but honestly like I'm pretty happy because it's been a lot easier than I thought it would be and it's been a lot easier this time around too. So I've been pretty happy. It's such a pretty day outside. It's so calm. I was going to get up and work out, but I just didn't feel like getting out of bed. And I kind of just sat there on social media and did a little work. So <laughs> I love it when I'm feeling lazy. Like I could just lay in bed and like do things for unique and feel like I'm actually being like um, productive. So that's okay. All right. Alrighty, I just get started. How is everyone doing this morning? I think I'm going to use my palette 3 again today, but I'm going to do like a more dramatic look with it because, well, heck, it is Friday, so, and today's casual day at work, so I always get excited. I had to like rep my alma mater today to go Oswego. I still don't know to this day, like, what our, um, I still don't know what our mascot was for Oswego. I'm still like in deep thought about it, but maybe one of my friends will watch this video and tell me what our mascot was. I just know it was an awesome four years, so we had a lot of fun. A Laker? What is a Laker? What the heck is... Oh, it's on my lash. <laughs> it's like, what is this? What is a Laker? I don't understand. <laughs> like an actual, like, lake. -er. <laughs> yeah, I remember I bought this sweatshirt. Um... There was the bookstore. I think it was literally just called the college bookstore. And um, I bought this sweatshirt like before I left and I refused to get rid of it because it has sentimental value. So yeah. I'm like, I love collecting shirts and sweatshirts. It's kind of my thing. I picked that habit up from my dad because he was always like, every time I would see my dad, he would always have like some shirt from like some restaurant or bar that he went to or I don't know my dad does a ton of random things so he would always like buy me a souvenir and so I kind of picked up on his habit so I'm forever buying sweatshirts and shirts and stuff from like wherever the heck I go just so I can remember it I found one in my closet yesterday from like Cap Rock Winery out in Texas so their wine really is not that good in Texas though sorry Texas I love you for everything else but your wine I don't know why it sucks so bad, probably because it's too hot to grow grapes there to begin with, but that's just my opinion. Maybe compared to New York, every other place just isn't that good, let's be honest. <laughs> I still feel like I'm fighting off a cold. I feel like everyone in my office is sick and I'm just waiting to like catch their, their sickness. <laughs> yeah, 
you like develop like an emotional attachment to them, right, Whitney? Like you just don't want to get rid of them because they have, I don't know, I get attached to stuff. So I'm putting this color right here, which is like a light lavender color, and I'm just using that as my transition shade. I used it as my highlight yesterday. I'm hoping that the sun comes out at some point this morning, but I really doubt it because I do live in the Northwest, so. I found my, so I used to have these black pair of, not used to, I still do, and these black pair of Oswego State sweatpants, and I remember I bought them my freshman year, and I just refused to get rid of them, like they're never going to go anywhere. And then I have some Alfred State ones too, so. And then when I run out of my sweatpants, I just steal my husband, so. And then I yell that for it, that's okay. <laughs> There's a, men's sweatpants will always be more comfy than girls. I don't care how big the sweatpants are, they're always, so like I bought him, um, where I got my masters in Montana, uh, I bought a pair of like these really sweet like our sweatpants and I still steal those from him <laughs> no beast yeah I would definitely agree uh, when I think about the snow there I just want to cry living here I'm surprised that I ever knew how to drive in the snow to begin with because there's like when we do get snow here it just literally shuts the entire city down so like we never have to drive on it if we don't want to I'm using this color right here it's called ecstatic because I'm ecstatic it's Friday and just putting it on the lid <laughs> Boat captain, that's hilarious. I wonder how many of the bars are still open in Oswego. I remember the shed. I remember the place that was 50 Cent Drafts on Thursdays. I remember the Mexican joint where you could get margaritas for really cheap. Naturally, I remember that place. Let's see. I remember when Club... Why? Were too many people getting drunk? Isn't that kind of the whole point? <laughs> Why are they always trying to save people nowadays, man? <laughs> now we can say, when I was your age, BSR was a thing. Take away all the fun stuff. Two cans, that's what it was. That was actually the first, um bar that I went to with Greg and Brian <laughs> it was two cans what no -uh, that's so sad to think about like Oswego being like a drug place now that is such a big epidemic it's just sad All right, um, where is it? I'm gonna do this color right here, which is cheeky, which is like a really dark purple. It's like a darker purple of the kind that I just put on right here. Yeah, that's crazy to think about. Actually, um, Reinecker wrote me a um, recommendation for law school. <laughs> and she ended up, she actually uh, did business like before I moved here. Um, she had a case open with one of the attorneys in the firm that I worked with. And so like her and I chatted a little bit. It was really fun. She's such a doll. I guess like she had retired from um, from Oswego and then she ended up going back and then she left again. I think they have like a new dean there now or something.
It's so funny because before I blend this out, my eyes look like such a raccoon. I look like that kitty in the picture that I posted like earlier this week. Okay, my favorite part, blending and fixing my mistakes up here. Blend it out so the lines aren't really harsh. And I'm going to go in with these two colors right here just to highlight. Yeah, I don't know. Every time I look back at those years, like, I feel like they just, like, went by so fast. And then, like, when I started my master's program, I figured that would go forever, and it didn't. And now I'm embarking on more school. I really should have been, like, a professional student. Seriously. I just love the education. It's fun. I finally found my smaller mirror, so I'm not like trying to guess like where I put my liner this time. One cool thing about this liquid liner is that the tip is so like thin, like that it's just easy to literally just draw on your wing. Let's see how dramatic a wing I want to do today. I concentrate way too hard on doing this. <laughs> Just goes like dead silent in my kitchen or my dining room. I think it's ridiculous that like, it, this is like one room, but they consider it to be like two. It's one. You're not fooling anybody. All right. So I'll go in with my 3D Fiber Touch Mascara, or Fiber Touch. Fiber Lash Mascara. Can I just, one of these videos, I'm going to get these names right and it's going to be epic. So I'm going to make sure I brag to everyone. It's early. It is early. So for those of you guys who don't know about this, it is a two-step mascara process. And I have had a few ladies ask me if I could do a video on like applying these like what's the best way if there's tips and tricks for it so I'll just kind of cover it really quickly and then I'm definitely going to do another video about it but this is the transplanting gel so you have the transplanting gel and then you have the fibers so you always do a coat of the transplanting gel first and then you're going to go in with the fibers and then you're going to coat again with the transplanting gel you can always keep doing more layers to get your lashes longer and longer and longer but I usually do about two coats but just always make sure that you coat the fibers with the transplanting gel that is the only thing you need to make sure you do other than that you are good I have seen ladies get some really long lashes it's pretty cool My length kind of adjusts with my mood depending how I'm feeling. So always, when you pull the fibers out, always roll them into the brush on the back of your hand or else they will come off onto your face, which that's not really fun. And when you apply it, kind of do it like in a shimmy motion. 
Uh, some ladies just do the bottom of the lashes. I do the fibers on the top and bottom. And when you shimmy them like this, it just attaches more. And then it doesn't come off onto your face or into your eye because that might hurt a little. I say might. I've heard it hurts like heck. <laughs> And then we'll coat. And I love how thin the brush is too because the wand brush because it gets like right in there. So because sometimes like I love fluffy brushes, but sometimes they get so like wide around like that. It's hard to get them close to the in like right close to your lash line. But this one is thinner, so it makes it very easy to do that. So then you get a full coating of your lashes. Alright. And then I'll go in and coat. I thought it was pretty awesome like last weekend was it last weekend or the weekend before I don't know it's when I did the 80s I did apply false lashes but my lashes were already so long they just kind of blended in with the false ones anyways so that was a pretty cool trick it just made my lashes look fuller So just a quick question for anyone who is watching. I've been thinking about doing the microblading for my brows. Uh, is that like a permanent thing or is it like a treatment that you have to like keep doing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, is it, I don't know, cause like I see it and like I could really use the volume, I guess, for lack of a better term. Cause my like eyebrows are very thin and I want thicker brows. So I often wonder if it's something that you have to keep doing or if just one time is like all that you need to do. So anyone watching this that might know that, please let me know. And my little guys are awake. Of course they are. <laughs> He's such a little cutie pie. Not only length does this give, but I love like the the thickness it has too. Or not thickness, I'm sorry. Full. Makes them look very full. Alrighty, and then we'll go in with our final coat of the transplanting gel. Since I do top and bottom, I'll have to coat both. Alright. I love the little pouch that this comes into because if I had to keep these separately, I'd probably lose them. So, both in this little pouch. So I'm going to go in and do my brows. If I'm not mistaken, this comes in the in the new presenter's kit as well, like the drawing. Oh. And this makes me like able to like draw in thicker brows, which is nice. Alright. 
All right, brows are sisters, not twins. Always remember that, don't fret about it. Okay, so I'm gonna do my foundation now, and what I wanted to talk about was the routine that I do every day, but also, uh, also the fun special that they have going on this month with the presenter's kit is it gives you the option to add on like the foundation bundle, which I call it a foundation bundle because that's pretty much what it is, uh, but they call it like a booster bundle, exclusive bundle, whatever you want to call it. So it includes the Glorious Touch, it includes the liquid foundation, it includes the Skin Perfecting Concealer, and it also includes the brush with it and an awesome little drawstring bag. So everything that I use for my face is included in this and it's only going to be $79 and that is a steal, let me tell you. Because this on its own is $39 but it lasts forever. Like I've never had to buy a new one of these. And for to have it like included with this and where are you? I lost you. Oh, there we go. Have it included with this, this, so you get all three of these, and then you get a brush, and it's like a foundation brush and a zip or zip drawstring bag. Like I think that's pretty good. So yeah. Because this is 39 on its own, but it lasts 80 to 100 uses, so it's going to last you a long time. Okay, my rats are fighting with each other. That's okay. <laughs> They're freaking me out. Little punks. I don't know what the heck it is that they fight about. Sometimes they just randomly start wrestling with each other, and I don't know why. And it also blends really well and you don't get like harsh lines at all. And it's not heavy. So if you wear it in the summertime, you're not going to sweat it off two seconds later. So and it's not going to go all cakey on your face because it has like a liquid to powder finish. So and it has full coverage too. So that's really cool. I need that. I love me some full coverage. And the Skin Perfecting Concealer, this is also included in the bundle that comes if you order the presenter's kit. And you get 20% off on that bundle, which is just so much free makeup. <laughs> what I would do if I could buy another kit. I usually go with shade lighter for my concealer, just because it adds a little bit of highlight underneath my eyes. I don't know why I start breaking out under my chin. I don't even hold my phone to this side, so you guys can help me figure that one out. And you don't have to set this if you don't want to. That's the awesome thing about this too. You don't have to follow up well, <laughs> with powder if you don't want to. But I definitely want to try out the powder just because I love trying everything out. And that's just that's just my own personal thing. But you don't need to. Which honestly, I've never had like a foundation that I didn't have to like put powder over it in order for it to be fine throughout the day. <clears throat> I must just check on that. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. He's going crazy. <coughs> wow. <coughs> I literally just like choke back so much more coffee than I meant to. I'm just going to bake under my eyes real quick. <coughs> wow. <coughs> That would have been terrible. Like, you ever have like those coughing fits when you're in public and you try to hold them in because you know it's gonna get really embarrassing for you because you're just not gonna be able to stop. Ugh, <laughs> oh, it's the worst. I'm just taking bronzer just to go around 
and kind of carve out my face. That does not sound pleasant, carving out my face. I've never been one for words. Just go in to kind of contour a little bit. See, I like this being here because I can see out the window and I can just see everything that's going on and be nosy. There's tons of school buses, like away to school at the moment, so that's okay. All right, I'm going in with my, what color am I gonna use today? I'll do seductive again today, which is the blush that we have. go in with a little highlight and find the right brush and just use this one the video that like I had <laughs> shared last night about the guy with his highlighter I was dying seriously like I was hilarious He was talking about looking like a glazed donut on a hot Sunday afternoon or something. <laughs> I'm still cracking myself up about it. I need to calm down. <laughs> Alright, I'm going in with black liner underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to follow up with the dark purple that I used before. So... Just so I could do a little extra smoke, make it look a little bit extra dramatic, because I am extra. What the heck are they doing out there? I wonder if you guys can hear that. They're going ham, whatever it is that they're doing. All right. So I'm going to take our angled brush right here, which I love this. This comes in the kit too. This is awesome for getting in the crease, but also for lining underneath your eyes too. I'm going to take a mixture of irate and this color right here that I put in my crease to kind of smoke out my eye. I'm going to blend those two together, but more of the purple than the black and go underneath. scared me <laughs> okay where is this oh, there we go. all right I'm going on my bottom lashes with my other mascara I usually use this when I'm like if I don't do smoke underneath my eyes I will use my 3d fiber but if not then I'll just use another mascara to go underneath feed them before that's probably why they're staring at me like that like mom where's my food where's my food I can't breathe they think that going like one day without food or not even one day like an hour without food when they're not used to it like they're so like set like on a schedule like I don't know what it is with rats but like they they know things like they know when I get home from work they know when I wake up in the morning and they get used to a schedule so like if they don't like if the schedule isn't going how they're used to they like start to panic or like even if we move around our furniture in the living room and they start to panic because it's like oh my gosh it's this is like if it's anything new they freak out 
So this is the color Loaded. I put that up like you guys can actually read it. It's so small. <laughs> um, I love this color right here. It's like a mauve-y... I'd say like it's just a good natural color like to wear every day. I usually love pairing it with my palette 3 just because I think the colors go really well together. So then I'll add a little bit of sudden spray on top. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to spray this thing like four times to get it to like come out the way you want it to. So that is the look for today. The length of the lashes. This is palette three that I have on my eyes right now and I'll go ahead and show it to you guys again if you're just joining. So this is palette three. Uh, I did a look with this yesterday so if you guys saw the picture that I posted with just like a three step like smoky eye like just dramatic but this one I used the purples and yesterday I used the rose shade. So I love the diversity of it, but I'm going to take off and do my hair. Uh, if you guys have any questions as far as the presenter's kit and how you can get your hands on the awesome foundation deal that's going on right now, like you don't want to miss it. Like you save so much money. So if you've been kind of like eyeballing like a new foundation, I strongly recommend trying out the stuff. And if you decide that it's not for you, you can always return it within 14 days for a full refund. So that's always big for me. <laughs> I always want to know if I don't like this, can I return it? But I highly doubt that you're not going to like it. Uh, everyone that has gotten the foundation has fallen in love with it. So uh, if you have any questions, you can either send me a message or comment on this video. But other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your Friday and weekend as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to post a video tomorrow or Sunday, but we'll see. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.